post over here on the right side. So we are going to see that problem having uh, <clears throat> width is equal to 200 and uh, height is equal to 100. Okay. And the uh, full inside or at the center of uh, this bracket is of 20 uh, radius. Okay. All the uh, dimensions are in mm. So we will start first from the references. We know that structural, click on OK. Then preprocessor element type, add it, delete, add. So, which type of element we need to use over here? Plane 55. I can directly uh, type over here. P-L-A-N-E. Plane 55. Okay. So, uh, or, yes, we can use this plane 55. Click on OK. Plane 55 element we have taken over here. You can close this. Then, um, we can give... Uh, Okay, uh, in element type, we can uh, click here on option and uh, here we can take <clears throat> plain thickness element. Okay, and if you want to uh, use plain 82 element, you can uh, add this. You can add over here, PLA and e plain 82 element also we can use. So you can uh, delete first one, okay. So it is optional over here. We can go to option, then uh, plane stress with the thickness, okay. Plane stress with thickness. That uh, option we can uh, uh, click over here. For what purpose this option is used? We are using this option uh, for giving thickness to this uh, bracket. Okay, whatever the thickness we are giving that uh, we can uh, um, apply over there for this cross section. Click on OK. Close. Then go to real constants. Here we can uh, apply the thickness. Okay. So we can add the thickness to this. So thickness. This will appear only when you uh, select that plane stress with thickness. Okay. Otherwise it will not, it will not appear over here. Okay. So I will give here uh, uh, 20 as a thickness. Uh, this is also in mm. So click on close. Then go to material properties, material models. All things we know already in previous lectures we have seen. So structural, linear, elastic, isotropic. So we all know that for uh, steel, it has uh, 200 E9. Okay, uh, here see, uh, we are not using the dimensions in meter. Okay, so we need to uh, give this in terms of Newton per mm square. That we can uh, convert that... Uh, 200 gigapascal into megapascal. We know that megapascal is uh, Newton per mm square, equivalent to Newton per mm square. So I'm uh, taking this value of Fink's modulus in terms of Newton per mm square. So how we can convert it if we have uh, 200 gigapascal? So if we convert that gigapascal into megapascal, it will be 200 into 10 to the power 3 megapascal. So we can see this 200 E 3. It will be Newton per mm square. So portions ratio will not have any, any uh, dimensions. So we will put it as a 0 0.3 as usual and click on OK. And density we can put over here 7850 as usual for mile steel. Click on OK. No other things we are going to see over here. Okay. Uh, don't forget to close this. Okay. Then go to uh, modeling. No section is required. Okay. Create. Uh, here we need to create uh, not lines, not hit points. Directly we need to create areas. 
rectangle we need to create by two corners so first uh, corner we need to x and y value 0 0 then width is uh, to be given 200 and uh, height to be given 100 okay so click on okay it will be created over here so 200 uh, uh, by 100 that will be created over here then uh, we need to create uh, one circle in between okay at the center okay so circle a solid circle we need to create over here so what will be the center of this circle in horizontally uh, 200 width is there so at 100 it will be there and uh, vertically at 50 100 uh, by 50 and radius we have 20 we can click on ok now we will go for uh, operate so we need to uh, subtract this circle from this all surface area so go to operate uh, learn operations now here we don't have to add this we have to just subtract this okay subtract areas so first of all we need to uh, select the first one area okay click on okay then we need to select second one and click on okay okay so uh, now we need to click on over here click on okay 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 uh, is having some issue so first again we will take first area one has been picked over here click on okay now click on okay now click second area so it has been picked first one go to next one so this is uh, next one it has been uh, picked up so be careful over here so otherwise it will uh, give an error click on ok now click here on ok so this is what uh, you have created ok so the bracket is ready modeling is ready then go for meshing here uh, size control we will uh, take manual size areas all areas ok so for all area we can uh, have size equal to <clears throat> element age length okay so it is 200 so i will uh, take length of one element is 10 okay let us see how it will appear it will be uh, good or not then we can again change the uh, size of uh, meshing so we can go for mesh areas free areas click over here and uh, we can appear over the uh, meshing so it is a good meshing but we can call it as the circle is visible very clearly and uh, everything is okay if we can change uh, we want to uh, increase the size of this then also we can use otherwise it is uh, okay it is very fine okay so we can see over here after meshing uh, we need to go to the loads that is what we can call it as the <clears throat> boundary conditions here we can apply so the bracket is fixed at one end okay so this bracket is fixed at one end so we can see uh, analysis type new analysis static by default go to define loads apply structural displacement and what we can say on nodes because it has nodes now single 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 we need to uh, click over here okay instead of that i will just uh, click on box uh, remember that if uh, you want to deselect this okay if you want to 
like uh, here i have taken this um, selected this nodes but i don't want to uh, select this uh, by vertically it has taken but uh, i want to deselect this then uh, right click on the mouse it the uh, orientation of this arrow will uh, go down then we can click left uh, button of uh, mouse then it will be disappeared again we can uh, go to right click and uh, selection mode then go to box here go to box and uh, select this at a time all these points we will select at a time click on ok so click here all degrees of freedom so it has been locked all degrees of freedom over here okay then displacement has been taken then force and moments force i want to take over here so force uh, on nodes we, we need to apply box so i am applying over here the force so uh, here we are going to apply fx in fx direction so i will apply 2000 newton load in rightward direction so it has been applied over here okay so then all these things are ready now our uh, body is ready to go for solution so go to solution go to solve current ls click on ok so if solution is done congratulations solution is done we have made it uh, correctly now we can go to the general post processor so go to plot plot results deformed shapes we will take first we will see so this is what the deformation the white color is showing the original position and uh, blue is showing you the deformed position of this one okay then go to contour plot nodal solution that is degree of freedom solution in x direction as the load is in only x direction so we also need to apply it in x direction okay click on okay so we can see the color contour very nice color contour for this so whatever is given under stress is uh, the load applied area and uh, this is having uh, less deflection and it is having greater deflection okay so we can see this uh, in terms of uh, some 3d view size and shape so click on display of element on so here we can see this in terms of in uh, isometric view we can also show we can see we can see this in every view we can see which so we can fit it into the window and also we can see this in front view okay these are all what the results we are getting over here here also we can see this y component of displacement also we can see then also we can see the displacement vector sum for this okay that also will be given then we can see if we want to see the stress component in x uh, direction we can see the stress is uh, maximum uh, stress is 78.079 newton per mm square and minimum is minus uh, that is compressive stress which is given uh, over here at these points it is minus uh, 2.84 okay 
then also we can see this uh, x y shear stress also we can see over here that is coming on that component then uh, yz shear we can see then first principal stress we can see over here it is also 78 then uh, we can see this second principal stress we can see the uh, stress intensity over here this 78 point uh, 0, 7, 9, 6. again we can see one minus stress is very much important for a uh, criteria for uh, selecting the uh, components or uh, deciding whether it is safe or not so this criteria is uh, given you 77.28 newton per mm square also you can see the plastic equivalent stress over here okay uh, then we can see stress state ratio there's no not uh, uh, available here we can also see the total mechanical strain in x direction okay that is 0. Uh, 388 okay maximum and minimum 0. Uh, 0.4 again we can see again the grip strain elastic strain everything we can see okay so maximum stress we can see over here okay so that is not uh, given in the uh, components uh, so what if you can say the problem itself we have not selected that one okay so all things we have seen from this category the whatever the stresses and uh, uh, component of stresses we have seen so x component this is important for us and that you can see over here okay and in nodal solution in uh, x direction this is also very much important uh, we can save this okay uh, we can save this in uh, pdf format over here and this is what the Packet analysis. So we have saved that thing. Every result we can show save here. Okay, stress that is one minus stresses is very much important, or the stresses in x direction that also we can save here. You can see this uh, shear stress and one minus stresses. We can see this also. We can save over here. Bracket one minus. So this is what about uh, uh, analysis of bracket okay you can see over here how the things are going and we can also see the animation for this deformed results you can see over here you can see this how it is getting deformed yes very nice picture view very nice animation is going over here you can see how the stress is developing inside this bracket okay. because of this uh, rightward force this is what the beauty of 
this ANSYS software. So we'll uh, close this.